Just keeping on the topics of Karens, because I found another story that was crazy. We all know that every now and then Karens get up to no good, maybe taking a little bit of money out of the business account, doing a little bit extra double dipping on profits and whatnot. But I feel like there's just a few things that, like, everybody agrees we're just not supposed to steal from. Stealing from a school's not very cool. Stealing from a charity's not very cool. Stealing from a church is not very cool. This Karen, though, allegedly went above and beyond and decided to steal from a church, and not for, like, a small amount. Not like when they were passing the plate around, she just grabbed some and ran out the door. Nah, she allegedly took them for over a million. She got that seven-figure salary from, uh... Hitting the scam on the church, allegedly. She's gonna start doing scam rap, you know? As soon as she gets out of prison, she's gonna drop first day out, but it's just gonna be about how she defrauded the uh, Catholic Church. Florida woman stole $500,000 from church and helped hide nearly $1.5 million of donated funds. I know there's probably some edgelord like good right now in the comments, but you gotta remember, these are donations from people that are just trying to like donate to their local church and have a sense of community and it's being misappropriated, which is just messed up, man. Like imagine you were giving money under the pretense that it was gonna go to like build houses for the poor or something and you found out that they were just kind of taking it and putting it in a secret bank account nobody knew about. It just feels weird to take, like, a bunch of money from something that could go to something good. It's like when people embezzle money from a school. It's like, all right, yeah, in most situations, is the school district spending money stupid anyways? Sure. But you should at least let it go to, like, being spent stupidly on the school. It shouldn't go to your bank account. I also just feel like that's an awful lot of money to steal. Like, no amount of money that you steal is a good amount of money to steal, because it's just not yours in the first place. But $1.5 million, we're not talking about a tiny chunk of change here. We're talking about a pretty sizable investigation. I understand why they launched the investigation. When they, like, called him up and said, hey, there's some money missing, how much? It's not like they said 37 cents or some like ridiculously small amount. 1.5 million is enough to make any like serious investigative agency go, ah yeah, we kind of got to look into that. I just really wonder what their plan was. Like that's also a large enough amount where they're definitely going to notice that was missing. Like I, I don't really know how much money churches are raking in these days. I've got no clue. I've, I've never asked anyone who owns one. I don't know anyone who owns one. I don't even think that's how it works. I don't think there's a owner. But even if they're raking in the big bucks, I feel like $1.5 million is the big bucks. That's definitely going to come up when they're like, hey, we had this and now it's gone. I feel like that's a very noticeable amount in accounting. There might be a small margin for error when someone's doing the books, like they're $1,000 off, but it's $100 million. Whatever, I did some math wrong, maybe. I don't know, I'm not an accountant. It's probably good I'm not. Listen to what I'm saying. But you're definitely going to recalculate if you come up $1.5 million short. And they're going to start investigating where it's missing from. They're not going to just let that slide. A Vero Beach woman was arrested after police said she used more than half a million dollars of stolen church funds to, and helped hide nearly $1.5 million in a secret bank account for more than five years. The Vero Beach Police Department said its investigation started in December 2021 when the Diocese of Palm Beach contacted investigators regarding a fraudulent bank account and the possibility of misappropriated funds that happened between 2015 and 2020 at Holy Cross Catholic Church in Vero Beach. Okay, so I will say $1.5 million is still a huge amount, but over five years, maybe they thought people wouldn't notice. Like, I still think it's stupid. People were 100% going to catch on, but maybe they, in their infinite wisdom, were like, no, we'll do it slowly. No one will notice. I think they really messed up making a bank account in the name of the church, too, because eventually the bank was going to contact, like, you know, the bigger church and talk to them about some issue with the bank account. I'm sure other parts of the church bank with them, too. And the second they contact them and are like, hey, this account with a million dollars just had a $500,000 withdrawal. And the church goes, wait, what bank account? It's going to raise a lot of red flags for everyone involved. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I feel like banks take like this type of stuff usually pretty seriously. Now, if you're just some uh, random dude who wants to deposit bags of cash, they'll look the other direction. But that's another video.
stealing is morally wrong, but I think especially stealing amounts this large, you're 100% going to get caught. Like, it just kind of becomes an inevitability at some point once you hit a certain amount. Like, look at Bernie Madoff. Like, yeah, he stole billions of dollars, but he did eventually get caught. Like, eventually it's going to unravel when it hits a certain amount, just because there's a certain amount that you're not going to be able to pay back. And there's a certain amount that people 100% are going to notice is missing and start looking into. So I really just don't know what they were thinking. And it's just even crazier to think that they were just like funneling donation money to this secret bank account that they thought nobody was going to find out about. Really, really, really one of the situations where you're just scratching your head being like, if you guys would have thought this through in the slightest, you would have known you were 100% going to get caught doing this. And while none of us know what happens after we die, I feel like I don't want to take my chances and steal from any church of any type. Because, like, what if you get up there and it's that guy? And he's like, yo, what up? What up, bro? After a nine-month fraud investigation, detectives arrested Deborah True, Holy Cross Catholic Church's former parish administrator. Investigators said they discovered that in 2012, True and former priest with the church, Father Richard Murphy, opened a bank account in the church's name. But here's the catch. Police said True and Murphy didn't tell the dioceses or whatever in Palm Beach about this account. And since 2015, bank records showed nearly 1.5 million of parishioners' donations were fraudulently deposited into this secret account. Obviously, if, like, the feds really want to find out what you're doing, there's not much you can do to prevent it. But I feel like we all also know that if you want to get away with stealing money, bank accounts are probably the worst way to do it because everything is insanely traceable. And I only know that from watching Ozark on Netflix. Like, I'm not even a criminal and I could have told you that you can't really take stolen money or, like, illegal money and just run it through a bank account. And if I know that from watching a Netflix show, then before you steal $1.5 million, you should at least do the bare minimum of research and watch the Netflix show. Goodness gracious, man. That is a good show, though. If anyone wants a, a show recommendation, <laughs> Ryan Rant's approved Netflix show. All right, with no sponsor. Netflix, feel free to toss me the bag, though. I know you guys are just, like, paying out the wazoo for new shows. You're getting desperate. Your platform's stagnating. I will never launder $1.5 million from you guys. I have no desire to own a bank account in anyone's name except my own. I, I don't know. I I'm just really okay with that. And I'm especially okay to not be stealing donation money. That just feels weird, bro. It's the same thing with the people that, like, scammed the PPP loans. Sure, yeah, you might get away with it, but, like, you did steal money from the emergency relief program. And, and I don't know, something about that just gotta feel a little weird. Either way, I don't really know what these people were thinking, but it is mega Karen mode to be funneling church donations into a bank account that you didn't tell the church about and then using it to, like, pay for personal bills and whatnot. And it's especially dumb to think that there's no way you're gonna get caught. Oh, they'll just let it slide. Don't even worry about it. If there's one thing I feel like everyone doesn't play about, it's their money. Whether it's a church, whether it's a business, whether it's a person. You mess with somebody's money, they're probably going to get insanely pissed and do something about it. And they were definitely going to notice the $1.5 million missing in the bank account open in their name without their permission at some point. And uh, this just seems like a Scooby-Doo mystery where you're like, what were you even thinking, dude? If, if a bunch of kids and a dog can figure out your crime, did you ever think the insurance company was not going to figure it out? Whatever. That's enough Karen topics for this rant.